everyone, this is Paolo from the MB Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make re-spaces like the ones in the track Last Time by Subsonic. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation of the re but before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. So for the sound, the two notes that we're going to be playing is B sharp and then F. So now let's jump into Serum. Okay, so here I have initially a patch and we're going to be loading the infamous greedy wave tables. I have explained in another video why this sounds the way it does. If you're a real fan of the channel, I dare you to find that. And what we're going to do is we're going to map a macro on the wavetable position of both. And then we're going to use this later as our greedy meter. So now let's just go and add it to this 20 cents up and then 20 cents down. So that's 60% of the sound right there. Now let's add some hyper and distortion. Cool. Let's add a phaser and let's bring the rate down, the depth down, and the phase, sorry, the frequency down. So phasers are great on reese basses. Let's just mix it lower. There you go. Let's add a chorus. Bring it down. Set it on high pass. Add a compressor, set on multiband, bring it up. Let's add a river, bring it down. And now we can just change this, depending on the mix of the tune. In this case, I'm going to leave it like that. And now let's jump into the post-processing. So for the post-processing of this sound, I just have a little attenuation here on the low mids and then on the highs. And then I have the classic wider bass uh, chain, which is the dry chain, and then a chorus plus wider layer that is EQ'd on the highs. Then we have an EQ boosting the sub and then this mids. This is probably going to change my selection on the macro. Yes, it does. Actually, I'm going to leave it out this time. And I have a simple reverb just to fit it on the mix. And then I have the sidechain of the kicks. And this is it. That's how you make re spaces like the ones in your track last time by Subsonic. If you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.